Hi, boys and girls. Good to see you today. Hi. Hi, Spencer. Hi, Corey. Corey? Uh, 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 uh. Who turned the lights out? Oh, there you are. Hi, Spencer. Hi. Corey, what are you doing? Well, I saw our faith tool there today, and I thought I would get a head start on getting some faith. Because faith comes by sleeping, you know? Doesn't it? No! Faith doesn't come by sleeping? Nope. Oh. Does faith come by dreaming? Mm -mm. No. How does faith come, Spencer? By hearing. Oh, by hearing? But yep. it's a sleeping mask. I know. Well, you know what, Corey? We have a sleeping mask for our faith tool today because we walk by faith and not by sight. It's more like a blindfold. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, faith doesn't come by sleeping. No, faith does no. not come by sleeping. Oh, well, now I feel a little silly. Oh, well, maybe, can I go home now? No. no. Corey, Corey, you don't have to go no. home. You don't have to feel silly. In our story today, Jesus, Jesus was sleeping. Yeah. Really? Really? Oh, well, okay. So, did Jesus get faith by sleeping? No. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> faith comes by hearing. And how do we get more faith? How do we get stronger faith? Use it and use it and use That's it. That's right. Over we use and it. over and over. Over and over. I remember that. <laughs> so, Corey, could you help us tell the story today? You want me to help you tell the story? Sure. Spencer, yeah. can you help too? Okay. Okay, Spencer, you be Jesus. And Corey, you can be, you and me, we'll be the disciples. Oh, can I, can I be Peter? I've always wanted to be Peter. Sure, you can be Peter. I'll okay. be James. Okay, so Peter and James and the rest of the disciples and Jesus were all in a boat. And Jesus was sleeping, sleeping in the boat. And there was a, I remember, a big storm. That's right, Corey, there was a big storm. And everybody got really scared. Yeah, okay, so can we tell the story now? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Oh no, James, it's a big storm. <clears throat> what are we going to do, Peter? It's a big storm and it's going to hit the boat. Ha, ha, ha. I don't know what we're going to do. That's a great big wave out there. Look at that wave. Wow, it is a big wave. Ha, they're all around us. What are we going to do, Peter? Ha, we're going to die. I don't think quite. Maybe we will die. Oh no. We're going to get the sail in. Oh, yeah, yeah, and get the ropes in and then. Yeah, get everything in. Everybody, everybody like, ah, oh, what are we going to do? Ah, oh. hey, I know. We, Jesus is, Jesus is here somewhere. Jesus should be able to do something. I mean, he, he, you know, like, what can he do? Well, well, ah, oh, oh, where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, I remember. He went, he said he was tired, and he took my pillow, and he went down into the boat to go sleep. Let's go get him. Okay. Whoa! That was a big wave. That was a big wave. Hey, let's go wake up Jesus. Hey, hey, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hey, there's a big storm up here. Don't you even care? We're going to get hurt and the boat's going to get wrecked and we're all going to die. Don't you care, Jesus? Shush, shush. Oh, shush, shush. In the name of Jesus, be still. Peace, be still. Whoa, hey, look at that. Look, all the waves are dying down, and the wind's not blowing anymore. Hey, how'd you do that? Uh. Remember Jesus said, what did he say? I was so scared. I think Jesus is going to say, don't, why were you afraid? Why was I afraid? Because it was a big storm. Where was you? was my faith. What are you talking about? That's right. So Jesus calmed the storm and he said to the disciples, where is your faith? Why didn't you have any faith at all? And there are three things that we can remember from this story. And the first thing, and it all goes on by how we walk by faith and not by sight. First thing is, is that when Jesus is with us, we never have to be afraid. afraid. That's right. Afraid. We never have to be afraid. That's right. We never have to be afraid when Jesus is with us. The second thing is, is that when we have fear, then we're not in faith. And 
when we're in faith, we won't have any fear. What will we have instead? What did Jesus say to the storm? He said, um, shush, um, shush. He said, shush, he said, shush. shush. Peace, be still. Peace, be still. That's right, peace. How do you know that you're in faith when something scary is happening? You will have a peace right down in your heart. A peace in my heart? That's right, a peace in your heart. And you, Jesus has actually given you the authority to say, peace be still to your storm. It could be a storm. Well, you know, we don't really have lots of storms here. It's not like that's going to kill our boat. No, but have you ever been afraid of a bumblebee? Ah, bumblebees! Have you ever been afraid of a bumblebee? No, but I have been stung by a wasp. Oh, and yeah. That hurts. It hurts, right? No fun being stung by a wasp. Or how about a big thunderstorm? Have you ever been afraid of a thunderstorm? Oh, no. yeah, the big thunder I crashing. I cried because of a thunderstorm because of the rain coming so hard. I get too late. I don't want to go home. That yeah. happened, actually. Yeah, it happened? Yeah. But we don't have to be afraid because, number one, Jesus is with us, and we can be, have faith that he's going to take care of us in that situation, right? And we can actually, Jesus has given us the authority to do the miracles like just like he did. So we can say, shush, shush, peace be still, right, to the storm if it ever happens. Or, you know, anything that you're facing, anything at all that where you hit, you're afraid yep. of something, you don't have to be afraid because Jesus is with you. Wow. Well, well, what's the third thing? Jesus loves it when we believe that he can do great things. Did you know that? He does? Yeah. When we have faith and we take authority, and we use our peace inside, and we say, hey, peace be still, you storm. I don't have to be afraid of you. Jesus is with me. Then Jesus really likes that. He does? Doesn't he? Wow, that's really great. Okay, so what do we walk by? Faith. And not by? Sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. That's right. Delina, why don't you give us the memory verse? I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Psalm 23, 4. Say it with me this time. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Psalm 23, 4. Well, boys and girls, there you have it. You don't have to be afraid because Jesus is always with you. Right? Really, Jesus in that verse, he's saying, have no fear. Jesus is here. And you can remember that all the time. Hey, Corey, what are you doing? Well, you know, I'm walking by faith and not by sight. Great. Corey, I think you're going to maybe fall over, but I'm going to walk by faith. No, you don't, you don't have to be foolish about it. You can walk by faith. You can see things. Oh, it's in the spirit that we need to walk by faith, right, and not by sight. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to walk by faith and not by sight. That's right. And we're going to choose faith and not fear. fear. Choose faith and not fear. Can you remember that, boys and girls? Yes. And remember can. that Jesus has given you all the authority, and you just go by the peace that's in your heart. You, you feel that peace, and you command your circumstances and your situations to come into line. And you can do the miracles that Jesus did. All right, that's it for today. See you later. Bye-bye.